Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm back with the race pass prize cars that I think are good live racers. Let's go ahead and test the first one, and that is the NSX Type S. A prior milestone car, a gold star car, but it's uh, quite good with the right setup because it has a performance point drop setup that allows it to be super competitive in some of the slower lobbies. This car unfortunately isn't any good in the faster lobbies, but hey, you can always go to the slower lobbies and do what you need to do to win. Okay, so here I'm taking on a bolide, but that's uh, probably not a well-tuned or well-set up bolide. It's a newer player who's probably still uh, figuring the car out. Just because it's a bolide and has purple stars doesn't make it good, especially against the NSX. Uh, and the NSX, again, with the right setup, can be devastatingly good in these uh, 11 second lobbies all the way up to 12s now it's not unbeatable so don't get too cocky with your car um, in that situation right there i think i slowed down a little too much let's see what he ran 11.8 so he did a better run than the first run um, i can challenge him again maybe he'll challenge now maybe not okay Oh, here we go, Shax Kennedy. So let's go ahead and take him on. That is one of the best free cars we've gotten in the game, the Utopia. Uh, again, it comes back to how well is it set up and how is it tuned. It can either carry lots of lobby advantage or it may not if fusions are missing and he's still just kind of partial building this car, which is what it looks like. So, easy win for the NSX Type S. Okay, moving right along. Montana. Okay, Montana's got the... What is that? That is the Valkyrie... Um, listen, it's a great looking car. It's a track pack Valkyrie, but unfortunately, it is just not that great a live racer. I don't anticipate any issues beating it in this lobby. So off we go, and let's see how it plays out. It looks like I'm way ahead. I'm going to slow down, slow down some more. And uh, unfortunately for the Aston Valkyrie, it is not uh, that sharp a live racer. Okay, moving right along here. Let's see um, anybody else wants to tell. Oh, here we go. We got the American Road Trip uh, Mustang. This Mustang isn't terrible, but it's not great either. Uh, it's kind of a middle of the pack car. In this particular lobby, it actually should be pretty strong, but uh, the NSX Type S should be stronger, and we're showing that it is, in fact, doing quite well against it. I will be uh, giving you guys something on that Mustang in the future, but for now, uh, for today's purposes, unfortunately, the Mustang goes down. Now, again, newer player might not be uh, fully tuned, may not have it fully set up. Let's see if we can get this ghost edition to race us these usually are pretty good in the slower lobbies uh so we'll see how this goes let's uh, see how this one plays out okay here we go it's either going to be really good or it may not be that great it really depends on how it's set up and what kind of lobby advantage it carries in this lobby And it looks like I was able to take the win there. 11.7, it's not bad. I mean, it's doing okay in this lobby, which should be somewhere around 11.9 to 12. Okay, so this is a race pass prize uh, between this, the Silhouette, the GTR. I would say the NSX Type S is the best with the LB Silhouette coming in as a second. So if you had to pick between the two, I would say it'd be between those. With the other three paid prizes, the one that I would like to go with is probably the Mazda. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Mazda now. So the Fiori has been around quite a while. It is not a super high performance point or Evo car. It just seems to do okay. I mean, it lobbies well. Uh, it's easy to bump it down a lobby or two just by racing it carefully initially. Oh, here we go. Let's take on a um, more veteran player with a good live racer. So this Nissan is well known to be a decent live racer. Not something I personally use a lot. Um, probably because I feel that it needs to beat Dino to win a lot. And I don't like that. The Mazda, on the other hand, should be able to take most of these guys on. I'm not saying it's going to win everything. It, it can be easily beaten by some of the top cars. But uh, it can at least take on some of these guys and have a decent race. Now, he slowed down because he probably knew he was running too fast. 
and we'd rather see that I break out than him breaking out. Um, so 11726 for him. Oh, server connection error. That can't be good. Let's go back. I will skip right to the lobby. Yep. All right. So I changed lobby, but I don't think it really should have hurt me that much. Let me see what happens here with this guy. Now, these uh, F-Type are convertibles. I've done a video on them. They're decent live racers, and they can beat Dino a little bit, too. So they're definitely something that can be used in live. Isn't like a top car, but it's, it's decent. Okay, so let's see now. Slowing down. He's catching up. Oops. Looks like I slowed down too much. And, and he didn't run very fast on that run. Let me... Let's see if we re-challenge him if he gets uh, faster or slower or what. So if he's running 11.9, yeah, that's, I mean, what, the problem with using new players and their setup to gauge what lobby you're in is that they may have a bad setup, they may have a good setup. I mean, it's very hard to know for sure uh, how they're set up. So it, it's hard to just use them as a gauge. Whoops. Oh, man, I'm having... That's the second loss in a row. Okay, now, now. So here's where things get interesting, right? So I just lost twice to him. And sometimes that's like the hook you need to fish for money. Like now if he challenges me, which he just did, I could raise some cash. Because I know for a fact I can beat his fastest run so far pretty easily. And I don't think that F-Type's gonna have much more in it. So if I wanted to be that guy. I would have raised a bet. Um, he probably would have taken it coming off of two wins against me. He's probably feeling pretty strong about his car. And boom, now he loses. Okay, so, oh, ooh, ooh, he's mad. Now he just rechallenged me right away. Let's do it again. Now, he won twice, so I'm going to take two wins first. And then we'll figure out if we want to do like another run after that. But, Again, the Mazda does pretty well in this lobby. I don't really foresee his car being able to really um, take me out. I just got to be careful not to slow down too much. My general goal is actually not to get too far into sixth gear uh, with the Mazda. That's its longer and stronger gear. Uh, so it doesn't really get fast until that gear. Uh, but oh, that was the 11.79 run against him. And he wants another revenge run. I'm probably just going to give it to him. Um, I don't want to spend my whole video here running one guy, but you get my point. So the Mazda isn't bad. Um, and so far, I haven't even really had to run it uh, all the way out, uh, meaning it is still running slower than what it could run to pull out the wins that it's pulling. Okay, so, all right, he gets the win. Let's go ahead and jump back so I can show you guys the actual cars and what the dyno and tune is. Now, if you follow me this far in this video, then certainly you deserve to know how I have the car set up. Um, here it is. Very basic, but I am leveraging Stage 6 Trans. This car really uses that uh, performance point from it and the Evo from it. Uh, if you don't have it, it's even less competitive. And at that point, I don't think the car is that good. So you, you definitely need some Stage 6s for this car to shine, particularly transmission. And the car doesn't really shine that much once it's more upgraded. So, Acura, all right. And there's my doggy barking. Acura, even more so, requires stage sixes. The lower performance point tune on this, um, or setup on this, only happens with all three stage sixes of tire, body, and trans. If you don't have them, you're not going to get this setup. The Evo is going to be much lower. And the car really isn't that competitive. But that's a 11.3 dyno car. That was running in like 11.7 lobby. And there you have it. The race pass cars in live racing. I hope you liked the video. If you do, leave a like. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell and you'll get notified when I put up new videos. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.